Bonjour, welcome to the June kit. I hope you are all healthy and safe and happy. Um, today we're gonna do a special facial for Beauty AD to get ourselves ready for the summer. So before I go more into detail about our little selection of the month's kit, I want you to set up um, your space and be comfortable. So again, have a towel where you can lay out your product, have your mirror, a bowl of lukewarm water and your little clip for your hair. So let's get ready, let's clip our hair and then I'm gonna open the kit and let's talk about this month's kit. So this month I decided to do a vitamin facial. We're gonna be having a treatment loaded on vitamin as it is important during change of season to boost our immune system and we take our vitamin and sometimes we change them depending on the season. That's what I decided this month to select for the skin. So we're gonna have an amazing peel. We're actually gonna layer the peel. It's like a couture facial and we're gonna have a vitamin plus mask. So open your little kit lay out your product and you're going to see some are different strange numbers but first you have your little wipes your four by four you had again your gauze and lay out your number one you may gonna not have a number two or a number three but we will talk about that later and um so yeah make them ready Okay, so let's wash our hands. I already did. I'm gonna do my little mini mist and let's get started. So we're gonna start with our cleanser, our number one. Oh, also have your towel if you want to wipe some product onto it. So take your number one, it's gonna be our cleanser. This month I decided to change a little bit and to select the cleanser from Michelle, which I love the smell. It's full of Damascan rose oil, which the Damascan rose is from Morocco. It's the queen of the rose. It smells so good. It has a little bit of jasmine, it has shea butter, and a little bit of green tea. So put the cleanser in your hands and then spread it everywhere. I think you know the routine by now. So apply all over the face, around the eye, onto your forehead remember to extend it and also because summer is coming and we're going to show decote stretch it to your neck stretch it sorry to your neck and to your decote and then do little circular motion if you need to add some water apply some water to make it a little bit more creamy it's going to be super luxury just by the texture and also just by the smell i don't know if you can smell the jasmine and the rose but it's so lovely and mostly at this time of the year we fall into spring so rose and jasmine is totally up to the season if you have more cleanser which i've been a little generous reapply use all of it remember to spend some time with a lot of circular motion we're going to spend a minute to really clean our skin. It's important every day when you do that at home, every night. Spend a minute to really clean, leave the impurity, the pollution, the sunblock. If you have a little makeup, leave the makeup. When you feel that you apply it everywhere, we're going to take our little 4x4 four four wipes and then soak them in the lukewarm water. Two of them. Like I say in the past, I love to fold mine in two, so feel free to make it comfortable for you. And then wipe everything off. Eye area. Focus on the nose. T-zone, where there is more impurity. Don't forget the neck. I'm so happy you're doing self-care and I'm so happy we're doing one more time together with this self-care video. It's important during that time to take some time for ourselves and to enjoy it. So when we're done with the cleanser, we're gonna go to the soft exfoliation. I love the gommage for the soft exfoliation. The Yonka gommage is super hydrating and we really need to hydrate the skin before we're gonna kick it. And because it's months, it's a layer facial, 
and it's a layer um, exfoliant, a deep exfoliant, and it's a strong one. We really need a lot of hydration. So we're gonna take our number two, throw those away, we don't need to use them anymore. Take your little number two, and in your number two, you're gonna recognize the gommage. I'm always generous with the gommage because sometimes the skin can be super dehydrated and if it's the case, it will soak all the gommage. So let the skin absorb the gommage, not all of it, but almost. If it absorbs everything, just reapply it. If it doesn't, then save the leftover and maybe tomorrow night, maybe in a couple of days, use the leftover with your night cream, with a serum, make a lovely cocktail for your skin, blend them together, apply it all over your face and sleep with it. The gommage will just act as a deep hydrating mask in this case, and um, it will combine, you have to combine it with a cream or a serum, but it will make something very lovely for the skin because it will give you extra hydration. So sleep with it and when you wake up in the morning, it will be all soak, all absorbed, and look at your skin first thing in the morning. This is really where you evaluate your skin. So you will see that it's a nice little boost. When you feel that the gommage is almost dry, like I can feel like it's tightly under my finger, grab your little oil and only take a little bit of it to give a texture to your finger to make the tip of the finger slippery because we're gonna lift the gommage. We really want right now the peel, we're not gonna use it as a mask, we're using it as a peel, as a soft peel. So have that little texture of uh, oil on your tip of your finger to be able to lift all the gommage. Again, you may not gonna see it, but you feel it. You feel that it's rubbing under your finger and that's exactly what we want. We want to lift those little dead skin, but in a very gentle way. So insist everywhere sometime if the skin absorbs a little bit too much it's going to be uh, difficult to lift it off in that case reapply the gommage and do it again i can feel that i'm having a very nice peel i don't know if you can see but it's fluffing away that's perfect because we extend it to the neck we're going to do nice effleurage onto the neck to really lift everything I like to insist in the area that need attention, so it can be dryness, it can be pigmentation, it can be little breakout. So focus on those areas, you know them. So be extra gentle in those places and give extra attention to it. Now then we peel our uh, sieve skin in a gentle way, let's use our toner to finish removing the gommage. This is your Yonka 5, you know it, I'm sure by heart. It's a blend of um, geranium, rosemary, thyme, cypress. It's lovely, it smells so good. Blend it into your hand and just spread it everywhere. It's also super hydrating. There is a little bit of peat extract. So the hydration is an extra plus to prep our skin for the peel. Massage it, be gentle. Light effleurage, go down the neck into your décolleté. And when you feel that it dissolves totally, you don't have any more gommage, then we're gonna start our fun peel. Voila. Already feel more fresh and it feel hydrated. So it's like, yeah, we're ready for the next step. Dry your hand and now let's attack the number four. So you're gonna see you have three different number four. We're gonna start with the first number four, then we have a four one and a four two. Open them all, be ready, because it's gonna be a little messy, which is okay, we're gonna go for it, but it will be easier if they all open before we go into it. So the first one is a light gel. This is a vitamin C peel, and you're gonna be able to totally smell it as soon as you're gonna apply it because it smells very citrusy. It smells like a, just a little orange juice onto her skin. Apply your vitamin C but leave half of it. I'll tell you later why. Apply it everywhere. The vitamin C and the fruit enzyme peel is a blend of organic aloe vera with hyaluronic acid to provide a super hydration while it exfoliate the skin deeply. So massage the vitamin C Peel. You may gonna start feeling a little bit of tingliness, which is okay because it has a low pH. It's a peel. 
If that's the case, focus in those area where you feel the tingliness and let's massage for one minute. And then now we're gonna go with our four one, which is a little creamy white, and that's gonna be our resurfacing mask. So grab it all, we don't need to apply it another time. So that product is for one application, the 4.1. And when you apply the resurfacing mask, you're gonna feel tingliness. You're gonna feel like little needle already starting activating the skin. It's loaded of fruit acid, HA, and that's what you're gonna feel being a little bit tingling onto the skin. Resurfacing mask is a blend of L-ascorbic acid with a blend of AHA, the glycolic acid, lactic, and salicylic acid. And then there is a little granule, and that's good for the exfoliation. So we're gonna exfoliate with a little granule, we're gonna exfoliate with the AHA, BHA, so the little fruit enzyme, alpha hydroxy acid. And again, focus in the area that need attention. Now then we spend a minute applying the resurfacing mask. So we've been having the vitamin C, we've been having the uh, fruit acid, we've been having little granule to be mechanically exfoliating. We're gonna go back to our number four, the first layer that we did, which is the vitamin C gel. And then we're gonna layer the vitamin C onto the skin. So you see, we're doing our third layer. We're actually gonna do four layer, oops. And a slippery, this is why I said better to open it in advance. So put the vitamin C on top of the resurfacing mask everywhere. And again, you're gonna feel those little needles, you're gonna feel that it's a little spicy onto the skin, papery. Keep watching your skin, look at it very closely. If you don't see any redness, that's perfect. It can be a little bit pink, that's fine. It's looking good, it's feeling good. Even the tingliness feel like a good tingliness. Massage it for one minute and then we are going to apply our last layer of the peel. So the last layer of the peel is a 4.2 and it's a very creamy one. It's an enzyme, resurfacing enzyme, mask, vitamin C enzyme, that we're gonna apply on top of it. Hydrating Enzyme Mask. It's a blend of vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and a combination of papaya and pineapple extract. It infuses the skin with nourishing vitamins and antioxidants. It gently removes dull skin and reduces dryness by binding moisture to the skin. And by applying the um, Enzyme Mask, you feel again the skin activated and you feel a little um, like little needle walking up to your skin, lifting the dead skin, that's what we're doing. We're totally lifting the dead skin. We really want the skin to be bright, to be oxygenating. And the combination of those four layer peel with uh, alpha hydroxy acid, vitamin C and enzyme, we're gonna totally do the work. So now that we layer four times, we're gonna let it set onto the skin for four minutes to six minutes. So I want you to pay attention. This is why the mirror is important. Look at it. If it feel a little bit pink, it's super good. If it feel a little bit too red, then remove it. So pay attention, four to six minutes. In the meantime, you're gonna go and change your water because we want cold water to remove the peel and we want clean water. So I'll see you back in a few minutes. Voila, we clean the water. The peel has been on for me, it's been six minutes. I can feel a little bit of heat. I can feel almost like on top of my lip, a little bit numb, which is totally fine. The skin is, I can see pink, but not red. It feels actually good, still even with the tingliness, but it's time to remove it. So take your four by four gauze, like last time I divided it in two, you don't have to, but if you want to do it, I like to have one on each hand, but you can just use the thickness of the gauze if you don't want to fold it in two. And then let's remove 
the peel. I use a gauze because the gauze has a little texture which is going to permit to grab all the peel very well. The coldness is important because we can feel the heat onto the skin and we really need to start coming in down. Remember, when we do a facial, we first, with, we first start with preparation. So cleansing the skin, hydrating the skin, then we boost the skin, and now we're gonna start recovering. So the recovering, we want now everything to be kind of cool and gentle to the skin. I hope it feels good. I don't know about you, but I already feel like a good oxygenation onto my skin. It feels already lighter. I can tell we really lifted the dead skin and it's already way brighter than it was. Voila. Hmm, it's almost like my skin can breathe again. If you extend it to the neck, be sure to remove it very well onto the neck. Then we're gonna throw away our little gauze and we're gonna go with our next level, next number, which is a number five. I love the name of that product, it's called a Enhancer. So our Enhancer is loaded of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is this beautiful hydrating agent. It's like a magnet for water. So we're gonna apply it everywhere because now we're gonna do a deep, deep hydration, deep recovery. Hyaluronic acid is um, so a magnet for water, so it immediately hydrate, plump the skin. If you ever had done filler in the past, this is what they use in the filler, it's hyaluronic acid. It's something that we have naturally into our skin, but as we age, our hyaluronic acid is becoming less and less um, important. I mean, we have less and less onto her skin, so we really need to boost it. This is why when you look at a young skin, baby skin, it's all plump. It's a big part of the hyaluronic acid that we have during that time of our years. Then we're starting to lose a little bit as we're getting older. So let's boost her skin with hyaluronic acid. This is something you can also do hyaluronic acid as a serum at night or in the morning. Even if it's called hyaluronic acid and there is a word acid, sometimes we're a little bit scared like, oh, is it gonna be irritating for the skin? Not at all, it's pure hydration. It's not gonna exfoliate at all. It's just this magnet that attract all the water, give an immediate hydration and immediately plump the skin. So it's beautiful for all skin type acne skin, oily skin, um, dry skin, rosacea skin, even the most sensitive skin can use hyaluronic acid. So now then we do the enhancer, I mean enhancer because you're really gonna immediately plump the skin. We're gonna use our little oil and do the massage on top of it. A lot of you know, know this oil because it's a cactus oil, the cœur de cactus, which is one of my favorite. It's this oil from Morocco loaded of omega-3, loaded of vitamin E, super antioxidant, super nourishing. So apply the oil on top of the hyaluronic acid everywhere. And now we're really gonna gently massage the skin. Why I love so much the cactus oil, it's because the molecular size are super small, so it penetrates really deeply into the skin. I even often call it a dry oil because it will penetrate very quickly. It doesn't sit into the skin. This is why sometimes I even recommend the cactus oil for oily skin. And I love it for sunburn. I love it, it's actually amazing for sunburn. I love it for rosacea, for super sensitive skin, for when you have psoriasis, any skin problem, the cactus oil will immediately calm, soothe, and hydrate the skin. So because we did a very, very deep peel and we can feel a little bit of heat and we can still feel a little bit of tingliness, we're gonna spend five to 10 minutes to massage the hyaluronic acid and the cactus oil together onto the skin. So really gentle motion, massage your skin for five to 10 minutes. Let's do it even 10 minutes. And focus in the area that feel a little bit more sensitive maybe, or the area who need a little bit more of attention. If you had noticed some flakiness, or if you had noticed more little lines, sometimes our little lines are due to dehydration. So be good 
and massage the eye area. Massage wherever it feels that it needs more attention, more time. I see you back in 10 minutes. Enjoy. How is your skin feeling? I don't know about you, but mine feels really good. The massage, the massage, the 10 minute massage really help to calm my skin. I don't feel any tingliness, any paperiness. It's very calm, but it feels really oxygenating, like very light. My skin feels super light. So let's go into her mask. And this is her number seven. Grab your number seven. And also the mask, as thick as it is, as creamy as it is, it will dry. So I give you a little compress. So grab some scissor before we apply the mask and open your little compress. If you haven't changed your water yet, go back and uh, change the water, make it cool water and soak your little compress into the cold water. It will be all soaked and ready when it's time to apply the mask. So our mask today is a vitamin plus mask. It's loaded of vitamin A, C, D and E. So A super uh, anti-aging, the C and the E super antioxidant and it has a little bit of zinc. This is what will make the mask dry. Zinc is super healing. but It's also very good for this little area, this little congestive area. We need some healing. So we're really gonna calm the skin with a mask. You can feel the coldness of the mask feel really good because we still have a little bit of heat onto the skin with that deep, deep peel. So apply the mask, it's quite thick, apply it everywhere. We don't want to skin the, by transparency, it has to be thick. So this is why I was pretty generous with the mask and I really want you to use it all around the eye area. Remember, anyway, we will put the compress, it will not dry. That mask is a little messy, but I love that mask. It's, you're gonna see when we remove it, how the skin's gonna be so glowing, very, very bright. If you want left over into the neck, we can do that, except the compress may not gonna go into the neck, so we will have to be careful to keep it moist. Now that we have the mask evenly applied everywhere, we're gonna use our compress to apply it and so we can leave her mask to rest onto her skin for 10 minutes. What I'm gonna do is use the compress, but I notice also I have a lot of leftover of the toner. So open your gauze, uh, your compress, it's not a gauze, I mean it's a cotton gauze, and fold it in a way where we're gonna be able to put some of the Yonka 5 into it. Just because for those 10 minutes, and it may be a little messy, so get over the ball and just soak it very well. If you put too much, remove the extra. So like that, during those 10 minutes, we're gonna have the compress onto the mask. We're also gonna have the Yonka 5, the lavender, the geranium, the rosemary, the thyme, and the cypress, which those are super calming, super healing for the skin. We want that. And now let's have fun. Let's apply our mask everywhere. Sometimes it falls on the nose, so be sure that it's right onto it. When it has the right position onto your face, press it onto your skin. Oh, and the coolness feels so good. It feels so, so, so lovely. So now that we have our compressed, we're gonna go to a resting area, whether it's on your bed, whether it's on the couch, whether it's on a very comfortable chair. Grab a little water, grab a little herbal tea, relax, put some candle, lovely music, and I see you in 10 minutes. Enjoy. Okay, it's been a little bit over 10 minutes. Let's remove our mask. I don't know how it feels for you, but I can feel some tightness and there is some area who are really a little bit drying out. So it is time to remove it. We do not want the mask to be dry. I mean, it is not because we have the compress. It's definitely onto my neck. Because when the mask is dry, anyway, it's not active anymore. 
when the mask is wet this is where you still have all the ingredient and the penetration into the skin but when it's dry it doesn't work anymore so this is why i always love when there is clay or zinc to keep the compress on it to keep the mask activating so let's lift off how compress and in the dry area oh, how lovely is it in the dry area we make only need to put a little water to remove it very well can reactivate it. So I like to use in a way my compress because the compress is still kind of suck with water and with the Yonka 5. And now that we activated the dry part, we're going to be able to remove it. Actually, I'm going to activate a little bit more. You may still have some of your toner. If that's the case, take it. If you don't anymore, then use a clean water. We need to have the clean water to remove the mask and use the toner or the clean water to do circular motion to reactivate the dry area of the mask so it will be easier to clean. It's a little messy, huh? that's good, that's fine. You may need to wash your hair tomorrow morning. The, the um, uh, jawline and the edges are definitely more dry than the cheek. Which is good. It's fine. So now that we activate it, reactivated the mask, let's remove it. For that, we're gonna take our oh, four by four uh, cotton gas, the two of them, then we have the last two one. Soak them in the cold, cold water and let's remove our mask gently. And then we're gonna be able to see our glow, the brightness into the skin. Super easy to remove now that it was all wet. Way, way easier. Go directly onto the hairline. Don't be afraid, even if it's messy, it's fine. Mm. It feels so good. I don't know if you can already see the brightness, but I can feel it. It feels more bright, it feels more tight, it feels alive. Of course, we have been loaded our skin with goodies and a lot of vitamins. Flip your um, 4x4 or maybe rinse them a little bit more. We're gonna need to with this one to be able to remove everything. And then we're gonna finish up after the mask with her day cream. I never put a sunblock onto your kit package because often after a treatment, a facial, I really think it's better to stay home and not to go outside. So if you plan to go outside, definitely apply a sunblock. But if you don't, if you're gonna stay home after, then you don't even need to do your nighttime routine because we've done so much for the skin. We totally nourish the skin, we totally boost the skin. The skin is all nourished, hydrated, so we don't need to do anything anymore. Voila. So we're gonna take our last little jar, which is our number eight. And this is a finish up cream. This is a Vital Defense from Yonka. So take all your Vital Defense, warming up into your hand and spread it everywhere. Face, eye area, forehead, and onto your neck and decollete where we did the treatment today. I love the Vital Defense mostly at this time of the year because I like the texture. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. Um, it gives a good hydration, a little bit of nourishment. You can see feel the slippery of the cream which is nourishing but in the same time it penetrates keep the skin supple it just feel that there is a nice protection onto the skin without being shiny without being oily so that will be the finish up cream and that's a cream that you can do every day if you want by the end of the day reapply your nighttime cream you can totally right directly onto the treatment that we did or just a little bit of serum if you want to if you don't you can just be ready for nighttime and don't have to do anything anymore 
I hope your skins feel great. I'm so happy you're doing self-care with this video and I'm so happy we're doing it together. I hope it brings some joy and some me time for yourself. I think it's important to be able to find this moment, to keep this moment for ourselves, to make us feel good. And um, I hope to see you very soon. Thank you so much. Stay healthy and happy. Thank you so much for Phoebe for keep doing those amazing videos. Without her, I would never be able to do the kid boutique. So thank you, Phoebe. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.